YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video, guys, is going to be on five tight ends that you can buy low on, guys. Yes, five tight ends that you can buy low on in week 10. So listen, uh, make sure, uh, guys, y'all sign up for the OnlyFans. Only $10 a month, cutting edge content there. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take you on an individual basis. You don't get that anywhere else, right? Most of the time, you're just a number. I don't treat people on OnlyFans as a number. YouTube, I try not to, but I got to sometimes because I can't take five minutes to answer your question. So if you need real detailed answers, go sign up for the OnlyFans, guys. Killer value, the best value that you can get on YouTube. Um, like I said, I'm not dropping anything over there where you're going to see a special video that's going to give you the secrets. But I can tell you that because I'm talking to you over there. I'm making personalized video. That's what it's about for my OnlyFans. That's the plan. That's the reason why I use the platform, just to be very personable, to give people the time that they need to make the right decisions to win fantasy weeks. All right. So, guys, the first guy that you should be buying low on, y'all might already know who I'm going to say because I've been biased. Um, He hasn't played good, so I take that. I've been wrong on him, but I still think he's a great player because I go off talent. Sometimes you got to look at talent. You can't go to the situation because you'll miss a player. Somebody will make a quarterback change, then boom, he boom. And you'll be like, oh, I didn't have him because you didn't look at the talent. But, so it's Kyle Pitts. So the three games that he got to play in the playoffs, guys, is because this we got to get ready for the playoffs. We can't just be trading for players just because they're going off. If you don't want it, you got to look at their matchups sometimes, right? Um, it just You got to. Now, some, I'm not a big matchup guy where I'm going to sit my studs, but I like to have green bean matchups. In the fantasy playoffs, it makes me feel good, right? Green, green, 28, 29. That's what I like to see. But listen, Kyle Pitts, New Orleans, Baltimore, Arizona. Or uh, Arizona, I'm not worried about that. Now, division games, New Orleans, that still doesn't worry. I mean, Baltimore is fine. But listen, guys, Kyle Pitts, it's, it's his pedigree. Listen, if you watched the game last week, he missed Kyle Pitts on a couple of big plays. It just missed him. He, Kyle Pitts is getting open. He's, he's separate. He's doing everything he's supposed to do other than the target hitting him in the hands. That's the only thing that they lacking. So once that happened... It's going it might not be consistent, but you, this is a this you can buy low on this guy and it won't cost you nothing because people are down on him right now. Now Dynasty, people still holding on to him and still trying to charge you like he's a top, a quarterback or something, because it's Kyle Pitts. But in redraft, you can go buy low on this guy. And if you got a strong team, you like, you know, seven and one, you killing it, you can go buy low on this guy where it don't hurt your team, you know, give up something that you don't really need and have Kyle Pitts, especially if you're streaming tight end. I, I don't want to stream no other tight end, but right now, especially with Kyle Pitts, value dropping, then Kyle Pitts. But there's a couple of good tight ends out there. Now, there's other tight ends out there. But like I said, I just think it's an opportunity to get an elite tight end that's running a, running routes, and people are kind of low on. That's why I'm bringing him up. All right, let's move on. The next uh, tight end I think you can buy loan on week 10, guys, is Dalton Schultz. And his three games that he got to play in the fantasy playoffs is Jacksonville, Philly, and Tennessee. So listen... Uh, he had a knee injury earlier, and he didn't look good, so people dropped him. So he could be on the waivers, but I doubt it. But if he ain't, you can buy a little people. Like, ah, yeah, man, what's, what you want to give me up to him? So, you know, whatever. It might be a – in dynasty, it might be a pick, or in redraft, it might be a player, a certain player, right? Uh, tight end, like uh, Mark Andrews, and you can get another package. But Donald Schultz, long story short, Donald Schultz is going to be fine. Because he looked good last week. I, that's all I want to see. They need getting better and him catching targets. And that's what happened last week. So, guys, this might be the week to go ahead and buy low on Donald Schultz. That way you got you a tight end. You don't have to stream him in the playoffs. All right, moving on. This tight end right here is one of my – this is my guy. Like, I like Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is my favorite tight end. But this next guy, I, I like what's going on. And it's Craig Doltrich. Yes, guys, from the uh, Denver Broncos. Now, listen, Russell Wilson struggled. I didn't want to pl play any weapons. But I feel like he's getting better. He's getting accustomed to this offense. And I think Greg Dolch is just going to be hyper-targeted. So, and he's athletic. He runs a 4-5, 4-4, 6-3, big hands, prototypical tight end. Great athletes. The af the, some of the best athletes are at the tight end position because they big and they fast and they got good feet. So, guys, I like Greg Dolch. I'm going to give you the three games he got to play. Arizona in the playoffs. Arizona is the worst team against tight ends in the last three years. So, Greg Dotrich playing against Arizona week 15. Uh-oh. All right. The Los Angeles Rams, it still doesn't bother me because they're going to be worried about Courtney Sutton and Jerry Judy. You right? Um, and, I'll, and then next, he got to play Kansas City. And again, like I said, they still got to worry about those wide receivers. He's not the only weapon there, right? Kind of like they is on Atlanta. It's like Drake, London, and Kyle. No, he's like the fourth option, but he's starting now. They they bench Albert uh, O. So, I love Greg Dutcher's going for it, guys. Go by low on him. Next, guys, is Cole Komet. Yes, and I was high. I said he was a top 12, but it looked bad the first six weeks of the season, right? 
Cole Komet, yeah, he lost. He was wrong on that one, TD. And what it looked like. Like I said, I'm not right on everything, so I'm not trying to talk like I'm always right. That's I'm not. But sometimes when I say stuff, it be so ahead of the curve or so cutting edge. People are like they can't they can't digest it, right? It's it's pure organic food, but it, but sometimes people don't want to digest it because they want they used to eating um human meat like McDonald's meats and stuff. So this is this right here is the sauce. I'm giving you real pure stuff. So guys, Cole Komet, hey, with Justin Fields running around, you can't stop both. I, the reason why I know, because guys, I'm gonna get a whiteboard and I'm gonna start showing you. You can't stop a quarterback from scrambling and blitz him to keep him in the pocket and stop the tight end because that's that hit quick game tight end. He's open one on one. You will playing off. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Either so, if they try to take Justin Fields away, a uh, Cole Komet gonna keep cut, catching touchdowns. So buy low on Cole Komet, guys. This is your opportunity now, and he's gonna be cheap. I mean, I'm talking about dirt cheap. All right, last but not least, guys, it's K.I. from Tampa Bay. And listen, his three games that he got to play, guys, in the playoffs is Cincinnati, Arizona, and Carolina. Arizona, again, uh-oh, they terrible against tight ends. Listen, and the main thing about Cade, Cade ain't like probably the, a, a great, a big-time athlete. He's good, but he's not like, oh, my God, he's going to be the next Gronk or something like that. No, it's Tom Brady there. And Tom Brady know how to accentuate a tight end like no other quarterback. Tom Brady can all like his tight ends always been really good. I'm not saying he ain't had good talented tight ends, but he all even with being coached, he know how to use being coached. So guys, with Ki and being there, um, I think this is a smash play because he got weapons around him. So nobody's gonna, never gonna dub a team Ki. So now you can just play, throw them out there and he getting red zone targets and he two touchdowns a game because they, Mike Evans may be struggling or maybe a Godwin is not healthy or Leonard Fournette can't punch it in. I'm telling you, Kay Adams going to have touchdown upside with about six or seven targets. And that's at least because, you know, Tom Brady throwing that ball about 50 times a game. That's what makes me feel good about his weapons, too, because he passing the ball. There's a lot of value on this team, right? So, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is Cutting Edge Content. A lot of people don't agree. When I say it's Cutting Edge, guys, I had guys come and hit me up on my Gmail and send me messages and go on soliloquies talking shit about me, talking about, man, is this Cutting Edge? Well, like I said, I just want to like to tell y'all what I go through because, hey, I'm an overcomer. It, it, it actually motivates me. So that's why I'm telling I'm not telling y'all to complain. Ah, people are against me and they mean to me. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I like it. Keep coming. Because, I, hey, listen, that's why I got to win some championships this year. And if I don't, I, I'll be humble. It is what it is. But I'm still coming back the next year after that. So, guys, I got really good. So I got to show y'all my leagues. But anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel and sign up for the OnlyFans. That way, guys, if you, got, if you need a personalized video, you need a who should I start? What should I do, Terry? Just your opinion. Because then, look, my opinion is not optimal. So I like to come chop it up and just, like, I mean, what you think? What about this? And what about that? And that's what OnlyFans for. Only $10 a month. Nothing weird going over, guys. Just a different platform. Everybody uses Patreon. So thank y'all for tuning in. Peace.